welcome back everybody. Well, as you can see, I finally got this gun out of Becky's hands. It's only because she ran out of bullets though. <laughs> well, I want to take just a moment to go over some of the features this scope has on it. We'll start with the windage and elevation controls. This is called the AccuTrack adjustment. They're covered with metal caps. They're not plastic, so they're going to last. The adjustments can be made with your fingertips. Now, as you make your adjustments, you can actually feel this knob click. So when you have to change settings or repeat them, it's very easy to do because you can feel those clicks. Well, let's move to the front of the scope. This is the bigger end of the scope. This is the objective lens. They call it the illuminator lens system. This is important during low light periods when animals are most active. And this scope, I'm telling you, you look at this in low light situations, it looks like broad daylight. And we'll move back to the back of the scope where the crosshairs are. They actually call this the acureticle. Instead of just crosshairs on some of these models, they have actual precise aiming points. What this does is it allows very easy adjustments for shots anywhere from 200 to 500 yards. Along with that, you know, if you view some spots, there's kind of a sweet spot in them. And sometimes it's hard to pick up your animal. Not with these scopes. They've got a very large view inside of it, and it just makes it quick and easy to pick up your target. You can rest assured if you buy one of these scopes, it's going to last for a lifetime. And Redfield backs that up with a lifetime guarantee, which is nice. And you don't have to be the original owner. If you've got a Redfield scope, you just send it back to Oregon. They'll either repair it or replace it at no charge. So far, all of the scopes seem to be in perfect working order. But in the rare event a scope does have to be sent back for one reason or another, it will first find itself in the hands of Alan Ransom for some live fire testing. What we do regularly uh, for customers that have either a point of aim or a point of impact uh, you know, issue with their particular scope, our technical services group first tries to walk them through uh, some diagnostics over the phone. Uh, if that doesn't work, we often recommend that they send it in and then we do live fire testing and we try to duplicate the problem that they're having. Only seven out of every 100,000 units sold are found to be defective. With a track record like that, we can confidently head over to the shipping department and watch finished Red Field Revolutions go out the door. All of these Revolution scopes have been designed, manufactured, and tested with precise attention to detail. Hopefully, all of that dedication to quality is proving useful in Colorado. Some cow elk come in to our left at 25 yards. So we thought there could be a bull behind them. I heard a rustling in the leaves up in the scrub brush, the oak brush above me. And all of a sudden I saw out of the corner of my eye some elk ears and some cows moving. And then I saw more and more. And I listened to Jerry say, there's a bull in there. I had to turn around from being set up in a whole different position to a new position and shoot offhand. But they were only 25 yards, so I thought, I, I can do this, I can do this. And they were all milling around together, and, and, and the bull was to the back of them, and I was pointing more left, and Jerry was telling me he was more right. I just was confirming with Jerry that I was on the right elk, and I said, he's standing to his left, he's in between those two trees, yes, shoot, and, and I heard shoot, shoot, shoot. Did I get him? You sure did. He was pointed over here. Yeah. And the bull was there, and he was the lightest color one. And you kept saying, lightest color, and it's so dark right now. <laughs> and I pulled out my rifle, and I could see him better through that scope than with my naked eye which is amazing. I think this is fantastic. <gasps> oh, should we go look at it? It should be. Right up in here. That is so classic. Oh, dear. Oh, and he's broken. 
He's broken bad. His top's broken. Oh. Small. Young bull, but he's a... He's a young bull, but he's gonna be an eater. Is he dead? Touch him. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> he's dead. Just that one little bitty cow call. Oh my gosh, it took. look at that. <laughs> <laughs> he's beautiful. But wow, really broken. He's, he's been fighting he's hard. Been fighting. Hard. This one's broken, this one's broken. He'll be a good eating bull. I need some meat for my friends. It was really important to me to get this elk. Very important. Uh, that's why I, I settled on a small bull, a young bull, because I have a friend at home that, that needs some help with some, some meat. I'm having all the meat processed here, and um, we'll share it, and I'll make sure that she, you know, she and her family get uh, some great bull out from Colorado, uh, and it makes me feel good, uh, and it, it's gonna make her feel real good, too. <laughs> this has to be the most incredible hunt I've ever been on, to have such bad, bad weather and such nasty conditions and so much climbing and hiking. Redfield scope came through with the lowest light condition I've ever been in. This portion of Factory to Field is brought to you by Leupold, America's optics authority. This portion of Factory to Field is brought to you by PSE Archery. Experience. Performance. Well, welcome back, everybody. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we've got for this week's show. Hey, let me say thanks to Leupold and Stevens for allowing us into their factory to see how these scopes are built. And I was totally amazed just how involved this whole process is. Also, check us out on Facebook, and if you're interested in us coming to your factory, you can get more information at factorytofield.com. Cool. Well, if I got some bullets, you think I might be able to take a turn shooting that thing? I think so. <laughs> Let's go. Factory to Field would like to thank our partners. Mothwing Camo. Will you adapt? Empire Paintball, the world leader of paintball gear. American Outdoorsman Adventure Club, your adventure awaits. United Country Real Estate, find your freedom. PBA Outdoor Heritage Fund, their sacrifice is our cause.